get a little bit more in there. Hey piggy people, so Apple is back home from our vet appointment. So what they did at the vets was take an x-ray and they could see that all the stones were right down near the bottom of her urethra but they were jammed. So they had to have her put under and make a small incision to get the biggest stone out from her urethra. Just a tiny little nick in her urethra which allowed it to be pushed out because otherwise my vet said she could not get it to come out by massaging it. So that came out and then right away two more came right out. And they did some flushes with putting a catheter in there and using saline solution. And then they did another x-ray and they could see that there's still one teeny tiny stone up higher. So my vet didn't want to flush it anymore because she didn't know if that would push it back in the bladder. So it's a very small stone. So that should be coming out sometime this week. So they got three of them out, the hugest one out, and then two other ones. And then we've got one more still. So here is what came out of Apple. So the big stone is cracked, but I put it back together because I want to show you guys a size comparison. So that's what was stuck near the bottom of her urethra. And here's a guinea pig pellet. So this is one of the Sherwood pellets for size comparison. So that's a pretty darn big stone to be stuck in her urethra. Oops. So she's really, really sleepy. So I'm just trying to get some stuff into her. I gave her her medication so she's back on antibiotics since they did have to make a small incision right where she's going to be peeing and could get dirty and she's staying on her Medicam so I'm just trying to get her to have a little bit of food and then I'm going to put her back in the cage. I do have her in a little section of cage because right now she's so lethargic that I don't want any of the herd pushing her around Everybody did say hi to her, but they're really nosy and snooping in her bed and stuff like that. So I'm just going to give her more time to wake up and then she can be with the herd fully. So that is our update on Apple and I'll give you some more updates once she's more awake. Okay, so she's back in her own section here at the end. Just as I said, I don't want anybody bugging her until she's more awake. So underneath her is a heat pod, I can't see it, just to try and keep her extra warm. And I have hay in front of her, um, I did get her to eat a few pieces of hay by literally just sticking them in the side of her mouth. Here you go, do you want that? Yeah, you take it. Oops. Yeah, I know I'm bugging you. That's what I do best, isn't it? Oh, you do have a bit of an appetite. Do you want to try a little bit more? The sooner you get eaten well, the quicker that medication is going to leave your body and you'll be feeling better. So they did give her fluids at the vet. So like subcutaneous fluids. So she should be peeing a lot. So hopefully that stone will be gone quick. That little one that's left. Well, you're taking baby bites. I love you, Apple. Tubbies. I'll let you see her soon, hon. She's just waking up. 
As soon as um, she comes out of her bed on her own, then I'll know that she's ready to mingle with the herd. Huckle gave her a big kiss when um, I first put her in the cage. He came over and was kissing the side of her face, so that was really cute. Okay, so I'm probably, since I got some food into her and she's nibbled on a bit of hay, I'm just in the middle of cage cleaning, so I'm going to just let her be for a little bit and probably hand feed her again in a couple hours if she's not eating a lot on her own yet. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!